Hello everyone, it's Adetto Foremaster and today I'm back with a new SketchUp speed build. So today I'm building a Maldives water villa which you've probably seen on several pictures uh, that always go around on the internet. Um, which are like those awesome villas on the water in uh, like crazy tropical areas like the Maldives or Bora Bora or Tahiti. In this case I took uh, the Maldives as kind of the name um, yeah, example just simply because I personally think that the Maldives are like kind of famous for their water villas uh, so therefore I decided to actually um, yeah, use them as the name example and you know I also searched uh, for several pictures of water villas and I also used like the terms um, Maldives water villa uh, in order to get some inspiration for this because I had of course like seen several pictures already because otherwise I wouldn't know about the existence of them I've not been to one unfortunately you can invite me in Maldives or just you know just pay me my ticket to the Maldives and I'll just make an awesome video of how awesome your country is. Not just joking, but um, yeah, I did have to search for several pictures on the internet in order to be able to build this. So I did and I personally must say that I also always love to see those water villas. So I, it's just not only for the building that I, or, or for the video that I looked for those pictures. But um, yeah, I tried uh, remaking one actually and then kind of fulfilling my own dreams or kind of my own idea of what I would build all this uh, water villa like if I could actually uh, build one there and I think that it turned out to be pretty awesome it's not very big contrary to like this uh, the skyscraper which I built in the previous speed build and also it though because it's not that big it's a little bit more detailed than a skyscraper actually much more detailed with the skyscraper you just really add the shape which is for kind of a skyscraper it's enough i think but for a building like this you do really want to go into detail so that's what i did and i think in the end it really turned out to look cool uh, the colors really seem to fit uh, awesome together and the fact that it's just placed over the water just creates an awesome atmosphere as well so um yeah i wouldn't mind living here this is kind of like a dream home though you know i yeah this is the dream home but you know the problem you have with like the Maldives is that there's like not a very big city uh, around so therefore you only have like that tropical area nothing else but i really really wouldn't mind uh, to be there like for several days so i really hope to ever get there i've not been there yet but uh, hopefully ever i will maybe the dream of actually building uh, an actual water villa there can uh, become the truth but um until then sketchup is my friend and i can actually just make um yeah speed builds in this uh, which many of you seem to like. Many seem to like the uh, previous skyscraper. It was awesome. Uh, it was awesome to actually read all the comments on that one. It seemed like many people uh, just really felt like it looked good, and um, and I was also happy to see that many people were happy that I was planning on actually making more of these videos. And as you probably noticed, indeed, I am actually making more of these videos since it's only been two weeks since the last one, less than two weeks, I believe. So that's pretty good for SketchUp. Normally, it was like two months I think so there's some progress and that's simply also because I really enjoy making these there are always quite some they take some effort to make just like you know regular sims or sims for speed builds uh, take more time than let's builds to record but uh, you do get like an even better video um, back from it I think so therefore I really like working on it and it really feels like you're actually working on kind of a progress uh, on kind of a, a project I mean so that's what I like and um, yeah I'm happy to see that you like it as well because then you actually get something back from uh, what you work on. So here I actually start making kind of the roof. It might look kind of crazy but uh, I'll explain later on why I did it if there's actually some more shape to it. Uh, well I can actually just start explaining already. It's kind of like shutters. For, uh, to start with it's kind of functions as a roof to look like a roof but um, furthermore it's just you know to look cool and to kind of create like a tropical feel and also it functions as shadows for both the uh, terrace which we have on the or actually the terrace I think you should say or like the well it's not a balcony kind of a patio maybe and it also functions as shadows to kind of keep away the sun in the tropical area uh, from the roof so it's not like way too crazy hot in the ba uh, the bedrooms which are under uh, the roof so um, that's kind of the idea I had behind that and I think it actually turned out to look pretty cool and uh, I hope you like it as well it is kind of 
yeah, it, it might be strange, but I think it doesn't look that strange in the end, which makes that I think you will actually like it. But there are probably people who prefer me not to make that, but I just personally really like it, so I continue doing it, sorry. Uh, and by the way, um, I also had the idea that you could actually start requesting uh, buildings for me to make in SketchUp. Uh, also for The Sims 4, but since this is a SketchUp video and mainly SketchUp people will, will maybe watch this, I'm talking about SketchUp in this case, so just put down any suggestions you have in the comments and then I'll do my best to actually um, yeah, build one of those, you know, maybe a certain type of build. Um, and then in this case, you know, building a mod this villa is kind of easier because they're very typical but something like building an Italian villa would in SketchUp be very hard in, in The Sims it would be doable I think in SketchUp it would almost not be doable simply because one it's not modern I can actually or I want to only make modern things in SketchUp so uh, modern like mansions you know those typical Italian mansions I probably won't be able to make that so um, yeah you can suggest but it will probably not go through but like a certain type of modern villa or just you know send me a picture whatever you want but uh, maybe uh, just for me to get inspiration that picture I mean uh, and then maybe I can actually uh, build what you would like to see because in that way I think there will be some more interaction as well and um, yeah that's what I would like to see so here you see me I must say that I feel like I've been working pretty intuitive with SketchUp this time. People always say that I don't use it in the correct way. I used to not really mind, but I must say that I do actually start minding. Uh, yeah, you know, not that people say it, but I wonder how I can actually do it better. So if you're one of those persons who actually knows how to use SketchUp in a better way, please next time also say in which way I could use it. I know many people say groups and uh, compo uh, components, I believe, or yeah, components. And I did actually use that in this video. So um, yeah, especially at the start when I made that like that walkway to this villa, um, I actually used groups there. So I'm kind of trying to get my way in using components and groups. But if there's like anything else I should know which would like make building much easier, please let me know because in that way uh, it will be quicker to build and there will be more videos. So please let me know, that would be awesome. And also I used many copy paste things in this house, which makes it much quicker to build as well, especially with those shutters. Uh, I must say that SketchUp really helped me with that actually, because I remember what length you actually made before. And then if you actually want to make several of those lengths, it just remembers what you made. And then you can just very easily make the same length every time. And that way the shutters really, the shutters roof kind of really uh, turned out to look cool so i'm happy with that and um yeah thanks sketchup for that now your yeah sketchup is just such an intuitive program and that's free it's awesome i really like uh, the way it works so um yeah i'm very happy that i actually have it and many people actually often ask whether i have the pro version or the normal version version i should maybe you know keep talking not mumbling but i have the normal version not the pro version the pro version is like five hundred dollars no way i'm paying that i don't actually even know what the extra functions of the pro version are i feel there are like very many um functions in the normal version of sketchup that i have not discovered yet so i think that uh, maybe when i've like am maybe an architect in the future i will of course use the, the actual sketchup uh version but for then or the extra pro version but for then uh before then i don't think there's any reason to do so so um yeah i just need the normal version if that's uh something you always wondered well there you go so um yeah here i'm actually at the other side of the building right now or of the villa kind of um kind of trying to make like an overhanging thing again um so let me see yeah just making some pillars I for this side i did not really have an idea for the other side i did have an idea here i just tried to do something uh, always be, when I start building uh, people always ask do you make like a plan before you start building do you like draw out the entire house um, both with the Sims 4 and uh, SketchUp that's not the case I often have like a, I, I actually tell that quite a lot so people would watch like every video will kind of get bored of the story but they yeah people keep not knowing how I actually build so I'll continue saying it 
Um, I always have like one ID, one small ID for a house this time. It was really the ID to make a Maldiv, uh, Maldiv's water villa. So that's kind of the style, you know, and then you ex I actually know enough to start building already. And then I had the idea of actually making those shutters on the roof. And did I know that? Yeah, I did know that already before I started building. I just came up with that. I hadn't planned anything. I hadn't drawn anything. And then I just started building and I just come up with the rest while building. It's not that I like to plan the rest. One thing is kind of planned in my head, not drawn. And then the rest, you know, kind of forms itself. That's how it goes for me. Uh, and I know that for many people, it's not that easy actually to come up with ideas. For some reason, for me, it is. Uh, I keep coming up with ideas. So, yeah, that's just the way I roll when it comes to SketchUp and The Sims 4. So if that's something you always wondered, um, yeah, now you know it, actually. So, um, and also, I might actually make once make like kind of a behind-the-scenes video of how making a SketchUp video or how making like a speedboat video works and the way I do it because in that way I think people one like to see it I personally always love to see like behind the scenes or like documentaries of like huge DJs those are like nearly my favorite things to watch like seeing how successful they are and just you know after watching having the feeling like what I've have I actually accomplished but uh, I just really like to see what they do and whether they've actually stayed normal or not while building this I actually watched a, um, a documentary or actually just a short documentary which he uploads on YouTube by Martin Garrix he's a Dutch DJ he turned like 19 yesterday I believe yeah it really depends when you watch it but um, he turned 19 like not that long ago and he's like the number four of the world when it comes to DJing he started with nothing then became uh, or got to the 40 place 40 I believe and then he got to a four in like I think two or three years and then he plays like like at ultra and all that kind of crazy uh, festival so that really amazes me and that's what I watch while building and uh, that's kind of also a behind the scenes view of what his life is like and uh, that's why I would personally like to yeah that is more yeah the way i would do it wouldn't be that personal probably but more like the functional and the practical way of how i make sketch of videos or just speed builds in general but um yeah i just want that's also something i watched while building so that's kind of why i told it as well okay this story is going nowhere sorry and maybe that djing stuff wasn't really interesting so I'm, going to stop talking about that as you see i've actually started adding a pool that's kind of the ideas i had as well the idea for the roof i had the idea of building a Mald uh, maldives water villa and you always see like crazy pools with those houses as well like infinity pools you know you have like a great ocean in front of you and then you also have a pool you know who wants salt water so um yeah i decided to add that with this one as well and i think the renders for this also turn out to be cool and now we come to one of the next questions many people always ask and then especially for sketchup or actually only for sketchup what rendering program do you use and the awesome thing is people actually ask that in videos in which i do mention it last time i had like a huge conversation about it i believe I used iRender NXT or Next, you write NXT, you pronounce Next. And that's also the program I make tutorials for. I kind of have like a partnership with them uh, that I make tutorials for them. And um, I also use that for my SketchUp um, videos or my SketchUp, you know, my normal designs like these ones. So um, now you have the answer. It is kind of an expensive, it's a very expensive program actually, but you can download a trial and then you can just use it for 30 days. And then uh, you can see whether you like it. It does create awesome renders. In my opinion, you can really customize it a lot. And that's what all the tutorials are about. You can create like animations. Um, for those of you wondering, by the way, this time I've decided to not add a, an animation simply because they si really take 12 to like 18 hours to render. And therefore I simply did not have that much time to um, between like rendering and uploading in this video. So I decided to not add one, but there are like enough rendered images, but not like an entire animation, which I had last time. But um, yeah, they will sometimes be in there. If you want to see another animation, they're also in the animations tutorial. So you can check that one out. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, I started to actually make the roof again. 
and I actually wanted to do it much quicker than the last time so I kind of tried to figure out how to do it and then it turned out that SketchUp kind of remembers lengths um, and uh, like dimensions which you use often and it got very easy to actually uh, make this in this way so now you'll see it very sped up it like literally took I think 10 to 15 minutes and now you see it in 30 seconds because I've really sped this up very much um, but um, yeah it does really create an awesome look and then here we actually get to like some crazy uh, camera movement in a few seconds I think when we start deleting um, yeah, the parts in between the shutters actually which create shutters um, yeah that's where we go um, so some crazy camera movement but I think you can still follow it pretty well please also let me know if it's way too fast please let me know but please keep in mind that these are not tutorials these really are like amusement videos to show you the houses I create but not really tutorials while building a, or while doing the commentary of course I explain what I do and how I do it or sometimes I do and not always uh, and in that way you kind of get to know how it works but furthermore they are not meant to be tutorials so um, keep that in mind so here I actually make like the last part of the other shutter or the shutter part and then we're done with the shutters and you really get the shape of the house which by the way if for those of you who really um, look at the thumbnails of the videos and really look at the videos themselves very closely they've probably wondered that I've actually uh, with the last uh, speed build which I did in SketchUp really started kind of something new I um, started with a new thumbnail and if you had watched the previous thumbnail you probably saw that there was like a crazy sign next to the SketchUp and then a uh, speed build part and that's kind of you know the silhouette um, of the building so I also did that with this uh, speed build uh, because I kind of feel like you know a good building can actually be um, yeah illustrated in a very simple um, yeah a very simple design which can be made like in several seconds and which really show the basic form or which shows the basic form of that building in this case I also did it and I also did it with the skyscraper that's where I started with it and I thought that that would actually make the, uh, the thumbnail look much cooler and also it kind of makes it more realistic because I think that's what architects do in real life as well or maybe not in this way but that's kind of the way they might think or at least that's the way I think you know you you know many you know those big huge buildings like let's say the Opera House in Sydney or the uh, Empire State Building New York or whatever those are all very um, they're very recognizable by just making the silhouettes of it already so I hope you understand what I mean but I believe with the intro I also made that um, logo for this house so you will probably saw it there and then I think you understand what I mean and otherwise sorry um, so here I'm actually starting to add wall paintings uh, to the house which in the end I think I'm happy with it is always kind of hard to make a or add wall paintings or uh, just color the house just because it can actually br make or break the house often it, it actually breaks the house because it's too like colorful or like not colorful enough too dark too light but I think in this case it did work out fine so I'm happy with that and it really starts to look like such a cool awesome villa in the Maldives which I really want to go to once but um, you know seriously those things are expensive they're like yeah I actually don't know but I believe they're expensive but that's kind of I've actually never looked up the price but I like can imagine that they're crazy expensive but um, if I'd ever build one in Maldives I would like definitely stay there for like a month every time or every day waking up to the sound of like the the sea the waves then you know having a cool wakeboard session or something not that i can actually wakeboard but then of course you can uh you know in the sea just not next to your house um but oh well dreams are there to you know follow so maybe ever and if the Maldives do actually invite me to go there after seeing this video please keep in mind I'll of course make a video and then uh, more people will visit your country so of course in the end it will be profitable if you pay like my flight and my stay at such a water villa because I actually um, make that there are more tourists in your country hey uh, okay but um, 
Yeah, you know, maybe there's like some Maldivian pe- a person um, watching this. I wonder if you are from the Maldives, please let me know um, yeah, that you actually are from the Maldives and that you actually watch my videos. If you've ever been there, please let me know as well. And uh, also let me know what you think of it and whether you've actually been to such a cool water villa. Um, and then um, maybe that, that's something I always wonder. Is there actually something you can really do in the Maldives? I mean... You know, you have that awesome beach and you actually go to a resort on a water plane, which is incredible. But is there like some activity, like some culture as well? That's kind of what I wonder. But if you know that, please let me know. That would be awesome. And if you have actually been there, just kind of write a review or just something very short. Don't worry um, if you want to. And then uh, I would find it awesome to read. And of course, you know, if you did actually spend time watching, by the way, sorry for that sound, it'll went wrong kind of but if you actually indeed spend time writing it i'll do my best to actually comment or reply to you i cannot reply to everyone so please don't if you comment be sad that i don't actually reply because especially like after i'm think a week since the video had been uploaded i often don't reply to comments anymore but i do try to actually do it uh, and especially questions, but uh, not always. And that's just not doable. I think I get like 40, 50 comments a day. It really depends whether I've actually uploaded a video that day or not. Because then it, it can go up to like 100 comments. Uh, so I can't always follow that. But um, I think you will understand. So um, I really like the look of the house from the back. From the front it looks cool, but from the back... It's like really that feel of a water villa. I think I really um, kind of fulfilled my mission uh, to build one. I tried one uh, to make one before, but it d- didn't really turn out to look that cool. So I'm happy that it did actually uh, turn out cool this time. So um, yeah, please let me know what I should build next. Kind of, you know, request what I should build. I said it previously already, but now we're kind of wrapping up this video. So, you know, just kind of summarizing what I said please let me know um, what you would like to see me build next like another skyscraper and if so what should it look like do you have like an entire shape uh, in mind then maybe I will actually follow that and um, anything else yeah that's basically it I think you know leave a comment um on what you think of this build and you know leaving a like is always awesome as well subscribing if you haven't already it's just the basic jazz kind of when it comes to youtube but of course if you actually did enjoy this video why wouldn't you subscribe you'll see one every time it's free or at least for how long youtube will actually keeps it free but i'll try to keep my channel free for as long as possible um and actually unblocking uh ad block would be awesome as well but um yeah here we have the renders of the maldivian uh, water villa already so um i hope you enjoyed watching this and um i hope to see you back in another video bye